Hello, everyone, and welcome to December 5th, 2021 weekly sermon here at World Gospel Mission Church. Before we begin with our main message from the book of Isaiah, let us all begin with the meditation of the week from Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon, shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Today's text comes from Isaiah chapter 1, verse 10 through 24. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith the Lord? I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts. And I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of he goats. When ye come to appear before me, Who hath required this at your hand, to tread my courts? Bring no more vain oblations. Incense is an abomination unto me. The new moons and sabbaths, the calling of assemblies, I cannot away with. It is iniquity, even a solemn meeting. Your new moons and your appointed feasts my soul hateth. They are a trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide mine eyes from you. Yea, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Wash you. Make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do well. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now, and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. How has the faithful city become an harlot? It was full of judgment, righteousness lodged in it, but now murderers. Thy silver is become dross, thy wine mixed with uh, water. Thy princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Every one loveth gifts and followeth after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, neither doth the cause of the widow come unto them. Therefore saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, Ah, 
I will ease me of mine adversaries and avenge me of mine enemies. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your blessings and your word today. We pray that each and everyone hearing today's message receives understanding of your words through the power of the Holy Ghost. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As spoken through the prophecy of Isaiah, God set a course for his people to go into Babylonian captivity because of their sins and transgressions. God rebuked them to repent. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3 and 4 he said, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. The Lord God called the rulers of Israel as the rulers of Sodom and the Israelites as the people of Gomorrah, rebuking them to listen to the law of the Lord God. God gave the same message of repentance when he rebuked the people of Israel through the prophet Ezekiel. As I live, saith the Lord God, Sodom thy sister hath not done, she nor her daughters, as thou hast done, thou and thy daughters. Behold, this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom, pride, fullness of bread, and abundance of idleness was in her and in her daughters. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. And they were haughty, and committed abomination before me. Therefore I took them away, as I saw good. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 48 through 50. Whenever they had committed these countless sins, they brought in sacrifices to the temple to redeem their sins. Lacking the knowledge of repentance, they only walked in and out of the courts of the temple. Not realizing what their sins were, they had thought they were pleasing God by bringing offerings and burning incense in vain. The Lord said, They do not understand how the gathering of the new moons, Sabbaths, and assemblies are unbearable to God. Nor did they realize how evil it is to hold solemn gatherings. God was disgusted and covered his eyes when they reached out their hands performing pagan rituals that are evil in God's eyes. They also prayed a lot to show God, but he didn't listen. And as to this reason, he said, your hands are full of blood. Wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do well. Seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now, and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. Isaiah 1 verse 16 through 20. By giving his word through prophet Isaiah and also through several other prophets, God had urged them to repent. Instead, they chose not to listen to God, so the kings, priests, and people all became one and rebelled against their Lord God. 600 years later, as prophesied by Isaiah, God sent John the Baptist to prepare the way for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
their king, Jesus, came to comfort them and restore his kingdom of heaven. But they were engrossed in rituals and rejected their Messiah, whom they should have worshipped and served. Jesus saw their rituals and he rebuked them. Matthew 15, verse 7-9, through 9, he said this, Ye hypocrites, well did Esaias prophesy of you, saying, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honor, honoreth me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Jesus spoke to a woman in Samaria about worshiping God. John chapter 4 verse 21 through 24. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh, when ye shall neither in this mountain, nor yet at Jerusalem, worship the Father. Ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship. For salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true wor worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The Lord said only those who have received the Holy Ghost by believing in him through the remission of sins can worship God. Also, because Christ, who is the truth, is with those who have been born again by the Holy Ghost, they can worship God in spirit and truth. He also said it is in vain for any other religious people, no matter how much they worship their gods. No one could worship God back when Jesus was present on earth. People were able to worship God in spirit and in truth starting on the day of Pentecost. This was when God sent his Holy Ghost after Jesus died for the sins of the world and rose on the third day. Acts chapter 2 verse 42 through 47 And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things common and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need. And they, continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God, and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Looking at the appearance of the first church of God in Acts chapter 2, we are able to see that only those who have received the Holy Ghost and became Christians could attend the Lord's Supper, break bread, worship, and praise God. We need to seriously examine whether the people in the church are truly worshiping God in spirit and truth in our modern age. It is important to know that the word worship is testified in the Bible in various places, but the word service appears only once. Apostle Paul clearly testified of the reasonable service. Romans chapter 11, verse 33 to chapter 12, verse 2. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments, and his ways past finding out. For who hath known the mind of the Lord, or who hath been his counselor, or who hath first given to him, and it shall be recompensed unto him again. For of him, and through him, 
and to him are all things. To whom be glory for ever. Amen. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Service is not a ritual that is held in a certain place. It is rather that we do not conform to the world in our daily life, and that we present our body completely unto God for Him to use as, his, as He pleases. Therefore, gathering at the local church on the first day of the week is to prepare to worship God and serve Him in obedience to the Word of God throughout the week. However, most churches are used to saying that this Sunday gathering is the worship service, combining the words worship and service, meaning worship and service are done together in the church building. But worshiping God and service are clearly different from each other biblically. Will God accept the sacraments? praising, worshiping, and praying as we enter the church door after committing all sorts of sins conforming to this world throughout the week? Do they not realize the words of God that rebuked the people of Israel through the prophet Isaiah are now being poured out on the pastors and members of the corrupted churches in this age? The gathering of the early church were to worship God learn the word of God, have fellowship, and serve one another. They were not performing rituals that ended with hymns, prayers, and a blessing from the pastor like today's churches. In these last days, most Christian churches have been occupied by the Vatican, also known as the Great Babylon, to become one body with them. It is not strange for them to integrate, integrate with the World Council of Churches, World Evangelical Alliance, and the National Council of Churches to be in harmony with pagan gods of all other religions. Do you really think God will accept their worship and praise? Not a chance. One of the things that pastors often say these days is that their churches shall bring a huge revival when the Sunday worship service is done successfully. Modern churches believe that the secret to a successful worship service is based on how gracious the worship and praise team lead and how preachers prepare sermons that move people's civil values by mixing leaven rather than preaching the pure word of God. In other words, if they succeed in religious activities, many people will come and they will grow and become a mega church. They are even deceiving people by saying that they are supposed to manage two types of services, a traditional service and an open service mixed in with contemporary Christian music. They need to remember how God rebuked the Israelites through prophet Isaiah. And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide mine eyes from you. Yea, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Again from Isaiah 1 verse 15. God wants to be worshipped by his children born again of the Holy Ghost. God also wants the service from the Christians who deny themselves and take up their own cross to follow the Lord. Jesus will return soon. He will come for his church first, the chaste bride of Christ, before he allows the great tribulation to start on earth. He will then return on his second coming with the church to destroy the unbelieving world. 
He will then set up and rule his millennial kingdom here on earth. He invites everyone to escape the coming wrath and be with God the Father. Admit that you're a sinner for not believing in the blood shed by Jesus. Repent and believe in this gospel how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. You must repent and believe the gospel with all your heart. Pray for wisdom and understanding of the Holy Bible and let Jesus lead you in truth and spirit. Jesus is waiting for you even today. The day of salvation is now and today. God bless and have a wonderful week.